Okay, and now we're going to walk through setting up our very first NetLab. So to start it off, what we're going to do is we're going to browse to netlab.greenriver.edu. And here on the login page, you will log in using your school email address uh, and then the password that you would have chosen. Uh, your original password will be given to you on day one. If you need to reset your password, please contact me and we can reset it for you. So once you've typed in your username and password, go ahead and log in. And once you've logged in, uh, your screen may look a little bit differently than mine. Uh, however, on mine, uh, I come up here to the schedule bar up at the top, and I want to select a schedule lab for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and say that. Uh, if you have multiple classes that you are included in, you will have a list here of the classes to choose from. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose my IT344 class right here. And then in the class, if you have multiple labs, multiple types of labs to choose from, you will get to choose the type of lab. Uh, in this case, I have either EMC or VMware labs. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose the VMware labs. And then on this page, we see we have the actual labs to choose from. Uh, next to the action, or we, we see the names here, which we can click on or on the action. We also have a schedule as well as a preview lab option. The preview lab opens up the PDF file with the lab instructions, so you can review the instructions without having to actually take the lab. So once you've got, gone ahead and chosen the lab you want to use, you can just click on it and it brings up the scheduling page. Scheduling page you can schedule for any time in the future. It defaults to the current day, but you can choose a day in the future. This red line right here that goes all the way across is the current time. So if I wanted to schedule a lab for immediate use, I would choose right below that. One thing that's important to note while looking at this is the fact that there is these arrow here on the right hand side. That arrow allows me to choose more pods. Right now we can see we have one, two, three, and four pods at our disposal. However, oh, and numbered 102, 103, 104, and 105. However, if I click this arrow on the right hand side, you'll notice that the pod numbers change. This pod right here is now 106, and I can keep clicking to view more and more pods. So if the first several pods are used up and unavailable because your classmates are taking them, you can go ahead and scroll over to the right and choose additional ones. So I can choose some time in the future. I can scroll down and choose a later time of the day, or I can even choose another day to choose from. I want to start right now, so I'm going to choose right below this red line, and I'm going to go ahead and select this pod 105. And it comes up with the reservation page. Start time 745, which was a couple of minutes ago. Uh, end time is in 830. I can change that. So it's, right now my reservation is only 30 minutes. If I want to, I can expand that out. Uh, two hours or however long uh, is the maximum that's available to me. Click Submit. The reservation is scheduled. I say OK and it takes me back to my front page and here I can see I in fact have my lab uh, who shows me who the user is and then I can click the Enter Lab button. Again, if I schedule the lab in the future, uh, the Enter Lab button won't show up until the time has actually started. So now I can click enter lab and it will start initializing the pod and getting me access to the virtual environment. At this point it's very similar to prior NetLab environments if you've used them before. I can uh, click on any one of these servers 
and get direct access to them. Uh, up here on the menu bar here, I have a content button, which shows me the lab. Next to the content button, I also have this drop down, which I can use to open in a new window. So here I can open it up in a new web browser window and then dock next to the rest of my lab. So I could have the works workbook available while I'm looking at the VMs themselves. Uh, if I want to view the individual VMs, I can click either on the VM down here, which takes me to it, or I can click on the VM up here on the menu bar, which takes me to it, or I can again choose the drop down and I can choose undock which will pop it out again into its own independent window which I can handle uh, however I need. Uh, as you probably saw there's also send control at delete, uh, rescale, power on, power off as necessary. Uh, that's about it. As you start running out of time, uh, it currently says time remaining two hours, one minute. Uh, once that reaches below 15 minutes, up here on the top uh, taskbar, reservation uh, request more time will become available. Right now, if I say it, uh, it tells me you can't, can't extend it at this time. However, if I have less than 15 minutes available, I may be able to extend it if the lab allows. Otherwise, when I'm done, go ahead and under reservation, choose end reservation now. That will end the reservation and close me out of the pod.